The green mineral you see in this necklace is olivine. This is a very common mineral, however there is something quite special about what it can do. This green mineral could help stop global warming. If you like watching YouTube videos, you've probably heard about Mr. Beast or his initiative of Team Trees. When Mr. Beast reached 20 million subscribers, he celebrated by creating Team Trees and raised over $20 million, which will lead to the planting of 20 million trees. I donated to this cause, but I also started looking around on the internet for other proactive ways to help our environment. And that's how I found out about olivine. I was searching the internet on what we could do as far as improving our waterways, and I stumbled on some articles about how olivine sand beaches could help remove carbon dioxide from the air. A group of scientists and activists have come together to create Project Vesta. Project Vesta involves taking crushed up olivine and spreading it out on tropical beaches. This olivine is basically green sand. When olivine is eroded by seawater, two things happen. Number one, it pulls carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. In the diagram, it shows the chemistry behind the process. Every year, the amount of carbon dioxide in the air rises because we're burning fossil fuels. This means more carbon dioxide and rising global temperatures. Higher temperatures in the world also mean higher likelihoods for large-scale wildfires and more violent storm systems. Anything we can do to remove carbon dioxide from the air so we can slow this warming trend would be a great thing to do. There is a second positive of using olivine weathering on sandy beaches, and that is it lowers the acidity of the water. The current trend of more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and in our water is it raises the pH level. Any change in the acidity of the water will change which creatures can die or thrive. Coral reefs are dying off at record rates because of the higher pH levels. Most fish species suffer with a higher acidic level too. There is one creature in the sea that is ready to adapt and thrive in these conditions and that's the jellyfish. I don't know about you, but I think we're doing okay right now with the amount of jellyfish in the ocean. Now, I love Mr. Beast and Team Treats. I also love all the various projects around the world where they are using machines to try and pull CO2 out of the air. They're amazing, but what separates those projects from this one is Project Vesta is simple and it has the ability to scale up to a large size. Olivine is easily accessible, it's affordable, and the amount of area where it could be used to create green sand beaches is enormous. Simply put, this project could make a massive difference. So why aren't we doing it already then? Well, the lab results are encouraging, but things can be different in the field. Currently, Project Vesta is testing results from a man-made green sand beach. They want to see how much CO2 is being captured and how the new green sand beach where they spread the olivine affects the aquatic environment where it used to be a white sand beach. Also, new projects cost money. They've raised millions of dollars already and continue to fundraise, but they will need more as they add more green sand beaches and continue their studies. Now, why do I want to be part of this project? Well, for one, it's new and it has enormous potential. Also, I'll be honest, I want to go fishing at the green sand beach. I'd love to see what it looks like. I'd love to see what it feels like. I'd also like to see what fish will be there. There are natural green sand olivine beaches in the world. The most famous one is in Hawaii, and I'd like to see that as well as the Project Vesta test beach to see how they differ. Now, how does global warming affect my life? Well, for me personally, I live in southern Wisconsin, 
I'll explain how it affects my environment. Warmer temperatures here in southern Wisconsin means a shorter ice fishing season. Uh, this year, I couldn't even find good ice until late December of this year. I actually went ice fishing in a kayak because none of the ice was good enough. Warmer water also is bad for the most coveted game fish in Wisconsin, which is the walleye. Walleye like colder temperatures, so warmer water means less walleye in Wisconsin. If I've learned anything from 2020, things can always get worse. There are massive problems in the world, and I don't want to be a bystander anymore. Do you want to help me support the project? Uh, share this video. Let other people know about Project Vesta. The more people working towards curbing global warming, the better. If you want to take it a step further, there are links down below. You can be a small donor like me. Maybe you want to donate more than that. I'm pretty sure they'd be happy with that too. <laughs> Maybe Elon Musk should watch this and donate a hundred million dollars. He is challenging people all over the world to find good ideas and well this is a great one. Currently I'm a part of the ambassador program for Project Vesta which means I get to spread the word about their current progress. This is a completely voluntary position. I am not getting paid to do this. I just am excited about the possibilities of this ambitious project. I'll do my best to keep all of you in the loop as things continue to develop. Project Vesta, pardon the pun, hasn't given me the green light to visit their first research site in the field, but maybe if this video gets popular I can go on location to do some of my own field research. First, I have to go to Hawaii to see the naturally occurring olivine green sand beach and then to the test beach to fish, I mean, help them with their research. You know, compare and contrast things. <laughs> Alright, thanks everybody for watching and I hope Project Vesta really does have the chance to change the world.